Girl stood me up. Sister girl stood me up. Yes, but yes, I is something about it when a man have plans, okay? <laughs> what is going on my babies welcome to another vlog uh yeah you see your hair your girl hair so y'all see your hair yeah you see the hat on but you see your girl hair is done now baby uh she is ready she is ready so um yeah i just pulled up to to this uh accessory spot that i was telling y'all about that i wanted to try on harwin so we're gonna go inside see what they got but let me give you a little insight on what happened yeah so i originally had a appointment with another female and she was supposed to do my hair today and girl stood me up sister girl stood me up and it was bad business like freaking bad business First off, you got my deposit, you know what I'm saying? And you knew that I had an appointment for 1130 and not once did you hit me up to let me know that, hey, this the address to my salon, cause she only give you the zip code. So you really don't know what she, like the salon is at. But it's like, you ain't hit me up. You ain't say nothing. First we was texting and stuff. And then all of a sudden the day before and the day of, I don't get no response from you. And you just flat out don't say shit. One thing about these new up and coming hairstylists, they don't take nothing fucking serious. I'm sorry for my language. They don't take nothing fucking serious and it's sad. And it's making it sad for the new upcoming um, girls that's trying to get it, get their money, get their clientele up. And you got people like this that have poor customer service, don't know how to work professional, like they just full of fucking shit. They, they're full of shit and y'all know I'm pissed off like you hear it in my voice they're full of shit and they don't know how to communicate they got an attitude or always posting stuff on their business page talking down on their clients like honey we like this how we running business now this is how we doing things the fact that I I big I had booked this appointment y'all know I have been booked this appointment like a month ago a month ago I booked this with you so it's not like you did not know that you had a client today. It's not like you did not know that. You knew you had a damn client and you stood that shit up not knowing that this could have brought more opportunity for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have recorded everything. You know, they look you real, put you on my in on YouTube so girls can come see you and stuff. But you did that. You did that. Not only did you do that, but you missed out on your money and a tip. Thank God for the African shops, you know what I'm saying? I was able just to walk in with no appointment because the girl who originally did my hair the first time, she was already booked up. But the fact, I'm just still the fact on that you stood me up. And not once did you even try to fucking reply to me and say, hey girl, I'm sorry, this is the address or something came up. Let me see your deposit back. And you see my fucking text messages. And on top of that, you see I done DM'd you and you not once have said anything back. But you posting on your uh, stories, girl, when I tell you full of shit, you are full of shit. And it had pissed me off. Because what if I was just dependent on you and I didn't have nobody else to braid my fucking hair? What if that came to that point? What if it came to that point? I'm so glad I had a freaking backup plan. Like, I'm so glad I had a freaking backup plan because I wouldn't have my damn hair braided. Yes, I do hair, but I do locks. Yes, I do every now and then some knowledge braids, but not this like not this style. So of course I wanted to go sit in somebody's chair to get my hair how I wanted to get it done. And on top of that, I knew the time I was gonna get out of there. You know what I'm saying? So it it, it is what it is, you know. But um, I went to the African shop there called Braiding Image here in Houston. They did a damn good job on my head. It was two ladies in my hair, and baby, she got me in and out got me freaking in and out but i was just outdone like girl and not once have you still have not tried to get in contact with me not one 
Not only did she do it to me, but she did it to my auntie as well because we both booked our appointment for her. So yeah, that's what that's yeah, that was the tea of drop of this morning. So that's why I didn't really pick up the camera like that. But I'm here, hair done. It is what it is. We're about to go out to this jewelry store. It is called um Accessory Plaza, Southwest Trading Accessory Plaza. We fit see what they got. Cause y'all remember I've been telling y'all I want to come over here on Harwin to try them out, see what you know what jewelry they have to go with my outfits and to take out of town. And um yeah, so that's that. And while we on this side, I'm gonna go to some other little stores that I'm gonna come across, but at the same time, I'm gonna see what baby got planned up, what he got going on as well. And I'm hungry, I need to eat something because I'm gonna start getting a little hangry in a minute, you know. So I need to eat on something. So anywho, let's go inside. All right, y'all. So I just came to this jewelry store that I was telling y'all about on Harwin. And baby, when I tell you so much stuff in here, like it's so much jewelry in this store, it's ridiculous. So of course, I'ma show y'all a little stuff that I come across. But like, look at these bracelets that's that you know that's trending, that's in. And I believe for just one, it's like. Oh, this one just five dollars, five uh, ninety-five. So you know your girl got to get one, right? Okay, so I got a gold one. I need a silver one, and I want another gold one. Oh, do I want a white one? I like this white one, so I'm gonna get the white one and the silver one. And then I seen this right here. These are cute too. So yeah. <laughs> This is my spot now. All the jewelry, cute jewelry too, okay? For a great low, low price. Like, girl, even they have the little des uh, wannabe designer, you know, Van Cleef bracelets and everything. Child. Ooh, baby, I am in heaven. This one is cute too. This one is real cute. This is one. This is cute. I like this one too. This is real cute. And this one's only six dollars. Yeah, this is real cute. I love this all in here. All right, y'all. Y'all see how they got all the cute necklaces and stuff? Like, girl, this is so, like, everything in here. Every freaking thing. They got more earrings on this wall. And then, like, more necklaces and stuff right here. Like, the different color necklaces, you know, stuff like that. But I really like... I'm just showing y'all. I really like how this is giving like vacation and, and it's just so cute in here. The big necklace, y'all know I'm not on that, but yeah, they got the stuff, sis. They got the stuff. It is here in Houston on Harwin. Like this freaking store is huge. All right, just made it here to uh, Chick Fil A. Give me something to eat because your girl is hungry. Child, I'm hungry. Put this in my purse. Um, I was able to get some little editing done too. When I had got my hair braided, y'all. I ain't finished everything, but I was able to get some like editing done. But, but hey, baby, I'm just still out done. Like I just can't get over the fact that that happened. Like these girl, I'm telling you, these these up and coming stylists or nail techs, whatever, like just entrepreneurs, they don't take nothing serious at all. Like nothing and then be sitting there wondering why people tagging them talking bad like i could have easily tagged that lady i could have easily tagged her but i said i'm not gonna do that so anywho yeah i'm here at chick-fil-a now um do this um i i was gonna go to the other stores over there for harwin but I, I got what I actually needed to get out of this store. It was really jewelry in the purse. It's one other little thing I gotta get. It's like a brown vacation bag purse that I want to go with my other little outfits because I'm not trying to take a whole lot to where my bag is overweighing. You know what I'm saying? So I want something to where it's gonna go with other, whatever outfit that I wear. Then I gotta get these other uh, things I gotta get like my pasties. I need these white little boy short thingies 
to go up under my outfit and um that's pretty much it like i'm pretty much done so what i'm gonna do is probably tomorrow because tomorrow's like the last day when i get out of church i'm going to go um to the target off the beltway that i usually go to instead of the target right here by my house because they like ran through it when i say they had ran through it they ran through the shit y'all i don't freaking understand it but they freaking ran through it so i definitely want to do that for everything else i got the purse if i don't find it it is what it is i just get it on amazon because i actually have it in my cart so yeah um let's see hi how are you good can i get a um number four three counts the number four yes Yes, and then I want to do lemonade. Yes, and light on ice. Yes, and light on ice. Yes, and that's it. That's it. Any sauces, perhaps? Um, ketchup. Ketchup. How many ketchups would you like? Uh, two. Two. Anything else? That's it. Yes, ma'am. We have the three kinds of juice with the medium lemonade, light ice, and two ketchups. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Thank you. And what was your name, please? Drea. D R I A. Yes, let me scan my uh did my order she was like oh my gosh you're like so polite it's rare that we get people that come through here so polite i'm just raised different like my i have great manners you know what i'm saying i i don't see myself being rude to somebody that's just doing their job now unless it's something else and it's just you coming off rude to me first and you just being a straight asshole then that's different i'm gonna be an asshole with you so <laughs> yeah it, it, it it go both ways. You treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm coming out the front saying, hello, how you doing? Hi, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, yes, no, ma'am. If I'm coming out that good energy to you and you coming out, like, yeah, then that's going to make me feel like, okay, now I see I got to come to this other person. But anywho, yeah, she was like, you're just so polite. It's right that we get there to come through the drive-thru. That's crazy, but yeah. Oh, my hair came out so cute. Oh my hair came out so cute. And they smaller this time. Oh my gosh, just smaller this time. I'm freaking loving it. I'm freaking loving it. So cute. Long. Love it. Yeah, but little Miss Mams. Little Miss Mams had uh did it today, honey. I'm gonna have to these little pieces because y'all know from being you know in them african shops how all that hair be everywhere afterwards oh my gosh mm. i know when i get home i'm gonna have to lay my edges down right especially with my jam because you know the jam they use baby this ain't gonna stay this shit go curl right on up you know yeah so i had got my stuff from my stuff so, so I end up getting this bag right here that I think is so stinking freaking cute. I feel like it's gonna go with anything, even if it's not a vacation bag. This is a cute um, bag to style with, and uh, um, I had got some bangles, bracelets, and stuff like cute bangle bracelets. And then I had got some earrings to go with my all white outfit. This is, that was so cute. Got that. So yeah, that's my jewelry that I end up getting because I, I'm trying to start getting to the whole, and I used to be that girl. That's the crazy part. I used to be that girl of having all the different accessories like bangles, necklace, all that stuff but i kind of had grew out of it i don't know if that's normal or if it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know but i kind of had grew out of it so i didn't really care for a lot of stuff on my neck no more especially on my arms and everything i've just been like i could put a watch on or i could put my apple watch on or a bracelet and or my james avery bracelet and call the day and women some earrings that's, that's just me but i was like no drill step out the box again like do 
put some accessories you know accessorize your stuff girl so i was like let me do that but so far the other little jewelry that i ended up ha um putting together with my fits i have um like these gold cute earrings that i had got from aldo oh my gosh that's so cute so i had got them um like what last week or so i had got went to aldo when i had went to aldo i had got them so yeah i got those and um my other little jewelry that i had got from Shein. but yeah your girl's gonna be ready she is all done my wax is next actually tuesday drea yes thank you thank you you have a good one uh-uh uh-uh she feel like y'all gotta do better yes this is all i get with the fries and they oh, at the, like at the bottom mm -hmm. Give me some fries. Sorry about that. That's okay, thank you. Fresh. Girl, I'm not even close. You just tripping out. Come on, Snow White, girl. But yeah, give me some fresh fries. Them fries are like they came straight from the uh the the last of the last, and then y'all gave me this. And I ordered a big size. Uh, no. Take this back and give me some fries. So, they, tr <laughs> they tried it. I'm that one that check my bag when I get food. I'm not the person that just drive off. I'm going to check my food before I leave. And I'm going to make sure that it's fresh and it's hot. And I got enough. I'm not that person that just leave. My husband, he do that and it be pissing me off because I be telling him, check the bag before you leave check the bag before you leave because now when you bring it home to me i got a little attitude because this ain't what it is uh-uh uh-uh uh -uh. check that bag before you leave sir because now i'm now i'm aggravated at this point don't play with my food don't play with my food i want my food how i want my food okay I might not be the only one that's like that. I'm sure there's other people out, out here in the world that's the same way. But me, no, I need my food right, y'all. I'm sorry. Not if I'm paying my money. And if I go to the restaurant and I know I ordered this, why is my food coming out like this? Or why is it cold? Yeah. I try not to be the problem person. But, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Nah. Not go fly with, not go fly with me, baby. Not go fly with me. Let me get my ass to this house. I gotta get stuff out the vehicle. I got my food. I gotta get my purse. I got my laptop. I got extra hair. So I catch y'all when I get in the inside of the house. Can I send you? We can find it for now. Yeah, 
Yeah, if I leave, you go by. Yeah, if you leave, I'm stroking your body, baby. Loving your body, baby. As you're whining your body, baby. So crazy. Loving your body, baby. Girl, you want to me. I just wanna let you know. Oh, baby, there you are. suit that I had got from Forever 21 and I scrunched the bottoms up so the shoes can show they wrap around they're red they came from she in and my teddy black purse earrings LV jewelry the usual but I did add my new bracelet on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. same on this end yeah this has given the look simple and cute okay simple and freaking cute where are we going? I don't know because my husband said get dressed and that was it. So yeah, I have no clue where we're going, y'all. No freaking clue. Because I asked him, do I need to wear heels or do I need to wear tennis shoes? Or can I do both? Because depending on what you know, just never know. He said, whatever you put on, that's what's going to happen. And that was all that she wrote. I put this on. So, and it's something about... As long as I remember my husband, but it is something about when he say just put some clothes on, get dressed, we're about to go. Don't worry about it. I got this. Oh, I ain't gonna get all to details, baby, because you just don't know what it do to you, girl. <laughs> I ain't gonna get all to details, but yes, I is something about it when a man have plans, okay? <laughs> it's something about it. Men who, yeah, we're about to get ready and head out, have our good date night tonight. And um, yeah, just enjoy. So, I'm cute. Cute, cute, cute. I want to see if I can show my shoes on. I don't know if it's going to do, but yeah, I scrunched them up. So, yeah. You'll get the vibe in the look later. I will show in the mirror, but baby. My background's a little bit dirty, and I don't want to embarrass myself like that because, yeah. Mm -mm. Anywho, y'all know Sunday's clean up day anyway, so, yeah. <laughs>
what they got. What I'm looking for. So y'all know I've been looking for another uh wallet because I got my mama my Chanel. Look at this Steve Madden one. This is cute. I wonder if they have another color, but this is cute. I like this one. Mm -hmm. They got this cream looking one, but I know this gonna get dirty too fast. Uh-uh. Uh, oh, they got this pink looking one. What's the difference though? Oh, this one just made like that. Now one made like that. And now one 12. This one 10. Girl, y'all already know how I'm by budgeting. $10 it is. I got this purple looking one. This 11. And then they got this one. It's like a purse almost. This one 12. I don't want no purse. Look, I need something to go in my purse. Like this. So this one it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Baby, these are cute, and I was looking for some oranges. Did I come on a good day when they got shipment? Okay, let's see how much I ate up. Let me put my shoe back on. Bloop, $13, getting it. Like, did I come on a good day? Did I? <laughs> or is the Lord with me today? Them, but I don't like that like these. These are cute. Yeah, these are cute, and it's gonna go with literally every outfit. Cause I'm not trying to overpack my bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to charge you and stuff. So I was like, make sure any everything that I pack, I want the shoes, purses, all that, so I can just you know rotate. Okay. So now I'm in the underclothes area because I need some white bottoms for my outfit so because we got an all white night so i need some undies to go up under i ordered my pasties i know the music is like real loud but i had ordered my pasties and my uh other purse from my for amazon so that'll be here tomorrow so yeah and then today was my first day of work it was orientation day so yeah oh my god what i don't know <laughs> Baby, when I tell you them orientations, it's all long and boring, though. But, baby, yeah. <laughs> a new journey, a new beginning. Uh, oh, y'all, let me look around, because I got this music real loud, too. <sighs> What's up, y'all? What is up? What is up? What is up? I know y'all like Drea. Last time we seen you, girl, was in Burlington. And you was talking to us, and you ain't come back. Okay, yeah, let's rewind. Let's rewind, okay? Because cha-cha-cha. <laughs> First off, first off, let me let me start there. Yes, y'all seen me in Burlington. That day uh, was my first day of orientation. So even though I, once I got off, I went, did that, got the little other little knickknack stuff I had to get. And sister girl, when I came home, took that shower. <laughs> took that shower. And girl was tired, okay? Baby, when I tell you them orientations be long and boring, them orientations be long and boring. <sighs> so, anywho, yeah, so did that. Yesterday was actually my last day for uh, orientation. So, whoop, yesterday was the last day for that. So, what did I do yesterday? I did not do anything yesterday besides go get this wax, okay? I told you I need a fresh good wax down now. So, did that once I got off, go get a wax, then went to HEB, go get something to eat. And that was that. Now let's just uh, rewind a little bit more back because I did not pick up the camera at all on Sunday. Sunday, um, y'all know what? Well, that Saturday, me and hubby head went out. We were supposed to go to another, uh, some type of lounge place, but they were so packed, and we did not know you had to do reservations for a table. So we did not go, and we ended up just going to Faces. Sat in there. We didn't even go to Fifty Fifteen, right? So we went to Faces. Went uh ate there and just chill, relax, just some music, and of course we did uh bump into some babies, you know, <laughs> they are subscribed to me and the hub. So their name was Adrian and Ebony. Hey girl, hey, they was so cute, baby. The vibe was vibing from them, all right. And uh yeah, they was like real supportive. So I really, really, truly thank y'all so much. And don't like I tell anybody, if y'all see me or see my husband, like y'all push me to say what's up, what's up, what's up, you know. Y'all don't got to be scared to 
come talk to us. Like, we real cool chill people. I might have a little uh, mug on my face or a fucked up look. <laughs> but best believe, I am not mean. I just be watching, looking at my surroundings. I just be chilling. That's just the face that I get. I give a resting face, bitch, when I'm chilling. So, <laughs> don't worry about that. Y'all see me, come speak. I'm chill. I'm cool. I'm, I can laugh with you and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love when y'all come talk to me. I love y'all come talk to me and him, all right? Cool. So, yeah, I had bumped into some babes the other night. And then, um, let's get into Sunday now. Because Sunday, I did not do anything. I did not pick up the camera not one time when i tell you did not pick up the camera not once did not pick up the camera at all sunday i had slept 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 my life away getting some rest i had got some rest i had uh wash clothes and once i was done washing clothes i went back to sleep and then i got up i said let me clean my restroom up so i did clean my restroom i was like i just can't you know i want to go sit in my tub and all this stuff so i had clean my tub like literally sink counter toilet I, I literally deep cleaned my rent my bathroom so that was that baby had cooked we ate watched a little bit of tv and i went back to sleep because i had to wake up the next day to start orientation so your girl's officially on her new job um so let's get into today today is officially wednesday i end up going to the job this morning to go pick up my badge my parking pass and um, just do a whole bunch of login information. So when I get straight to work, I will have all this set up, like for us with my emails, my login to clock in, my login to do all my other, you know, all my other little work and stuff. You know, when you're in the hospital, you got a lot of different logins, okay? You got a lot of different logins when you're working in the uh, hospital field, baby. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So had to do all of that today. And once I was done, came back home, got them clothes and went back to sleep because I leave early in the morning. Like I leave at two in the morning. I leave at two in the morning to head to the airport, okay? Because your sis is leaving. Your sis is gone on a trip, okay? Y'all, of course y'all gonna come and pack with me when we get home and everything. I'm gonna get comfortable and stuff. We're gonna do a little pack and that's gonna be that. But I definitely have to leave this house at two in the morning because my flight is at 514. They will start boarding at around 420. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need to make sure I'll be at the airport on time. I will be at the airport on time. And then, y'all, this is a girl's trip. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to see who I'm going to be with. And this is my first girl's trip. So I'm really excited. Ready to have fun and turn up with the ladies and everything. So, yeah. Can y'all guess where we're going? Can you just guess where we're going? <laughs> Can't wait for y'all to see where we're going to be at. So yes, girls trip, girls trip, girls trip. And um, yeah, so you're gonna have to make sure everything is t to par, taken care of before I leave. Um, I know I'm about to go to the store to go get some like travel um, stuff for my hair because I'm not taking my big stuff. No, y'all know I don't like to take that type of uh, things anyways. First off, you can't take that type of shit to the airport, so. Gotta go get that. Um, we'll get my eyebrows rewaxed again because I just don't like how they're looking. Um, I feel like they could have arched them a little bit more. So, I'm going to do that. And then also uh, go to either Ulta Beauty or CVS because I know CVS sometimes sells the e.l.f. product. So, I have to go get some more setting spray. So, that's the only thing I have to go get and I'm done because I literally have everything else that I had to get. I'm pretty much literally ready and done because it's like whatever I didn't get and didn't get to do, it is what it is. It's it, you're done, Drea. That's it. You can't do anything else. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're about to go ready, uh, get ready to do, and of course get a little bite to eat. Probably stop at Water Burger or Salado or something. I don't know. I really truly don't know. I don't know. I already went to the bank last night with, uh, not last night, but yesterday with uh, hubby to get my money out the bank. You know, have a, you know, you like to have cash. You know, you got to have a little bit of cash and then also your car. You know what I'm saying? You don't like to do all that swipe. At least you got some cash. So, we got my cash already from out the bank. And, yeah. Yes, y'all. Yes, I know y'all like drill. What? You going on a girl's trip? Your husband let you go on? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Why everybody kept saying at first, girl, he ain't gonna let you go. No way, he ain't gonna let you go. What? 
Y'all have to understand. You girl, you know she, the work schedule she had. I couldn't just do all the extra I wanted to do. Okay, I had to work around my work schedule, but I don't have to worry about that now. So, um, and thank you to everybody that has been congratulating me on my new journey. You know, just being here, rocking with me, letting me uh, express how uh, what's been going on and how I was feeling with the situation, what I was going through. So I really truly thank everyone for all the great positive words that y'all was giving me and to my babes that are out there going through the same thing i pray i i even told y'all i really truly i swear to y'all i pray that y'all conquer what you're trying to conquer into life i pray that you um meet the needs that you're trying to meet also the success that you're trying to um grow into like i pray that y'all have that faith to just explore spread your wings do what you want to do do what makes you happy and know that god always have y'all back no matter what okay so step out on faith and just keep going do what makes you happy so i truly thank y'all for just supporting your girl being here with me loving me and just rocking and rolling with me you know what i'm saying let me be myself let me express myself to y'all y'all know how sometimes i give y'all a little bit of too too much information but sometimes i just feel like because y'all my folks why not this is my life y'all are in my life and then sometimes of course i do keep some things private to myself because i like to enjoy them for myself so yeah that's that Anywho, let's go to the store um, and get my little knickknack stuff that I told y'all I have to get. I need to put this camera on the charger because I need another battery in here. So I got to make sure all my electronics are all plugged up, all that stuff. So anywho, let me do that for this camera cut off on us. You know what I'm saying? And I will catch y'all either in the vehicle or at the store. Okay, yeah. This is way better. I just feel like I had too much on my eyebrows like i feel like they was never arched at first that's how i was feeling that's all like mm, mm, no i'm gonna go to who i originally go to and she did them perfect so i'm good now now let's go to um ulta beauty or uh, uh no one do ulta beauty or target Let's try Ulta Beauty first. Let's try Ulta Beauty because what I'm looking for, I just, I just need a, I just need a spray. Drea, don't get your ass up in here and try to get other stuff that you don't need right now. You hear me? Don't you get up in here and try to get nothing else you don't need. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Y'all, so I came to Target first. Cause I was like, uh, let me do Target. Cause I know for sure they be having a little travel ones, which I know Ulta Beauty be having them too, but <sighs> it's discipline. It's discipline. Oh, how is it discipline? I'm coming here looking at other stuff. I don't even know other business looking at. But look at this bag, girl. Let me get a full look. Hold on. Look at this bag. Drill, you got you got you got a bag already that you're taking. But look at this, girl. Oh, and y'all, this is what I really need—another jewelry box. Drill, you don't need this. You got one in the bag already. But I got the little small one. Drill, you don't need it though. So, Remind me when I come back home to to buy a another size of a jewelry box because I definitely need another one. I definitely need another one. You're supposed to come here, go where you're supposed to go to, and that's that. Like, what is you doing? <laughs> what is you doing? It's crazy. You have to pep talk yourself. You have to pep talk yourself. I just don't get it. Why is it so hard for us ladies to just go into the store, get what we got to get, and then leave? We try to do the extra. Why is it? Why is? Why do we do that, ladies? I'm just trying to figure it out. Why do we do that? Okay. I need e.l.f. products. Bloop. Uh, I found it. The e.l.f. product. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for this 
power grip setting spray i seen all the girls on tiktok said this is the best one now i did see they had talked about this one the stay um the stay all night f one so i'm gonna try that another time but they definitely had said this power grip is it so i'm gonna get this power grip that's all i need i already have um my primer my grip primer y'all know i love the elf grip primer and i also have the sunblock um elf grip primer as well but this is the spray so we're definitely going to give this spray a try we're definitely going to give this spray a try and um okay i want to get something else see uh they got the whole setup gear right here baby let me show y'all is letting y'all know because i was just in another area but it's letting y'all know this is the whole setup gear so y'all now have this and they're buying this up they're buying that up so mm-hmm thank you tiktok thank you tiktok so what else i'm in the travel area now and i wanted to get the gardener um cleaning so this one is cleanse and remove makeup so this not rinse from religion yeah. so do y'all prefer the blue one or the pink one i'm seeing the pink one is bought up they say all skin even sensitive what does this pink one say even sensitive so what's the difference let's see what the difference is because i, I want to make sense first Okay, so let's do the pink one. I don't need the blue one. I read it. Need this one. And uh, I definitely need some um, contact solution. This is contact solution. Oh, I'm sorry. I need some contact solution. And uh, um, I was wanting to see if. I could find a small, instead of going to the beauty supply and actually buying a whole brand new one, if I could find like a little small little kit to put my jam in. You know what I'm saying? Instead of actually going to buy a whole brand new one. Like, I really don't want to, but, you know, it don't hurt to look and see. It don't hurt to look and see. But we fist to find out if they have something like that. And then if not, it is what it is. I just thought about said, just probably get one, but sister girl. I don't want that. Let's see. Hmm. What I say? Oh yeah, contact solution. Contact solution and I'm done. I am done. Okay, so I got my primer, grip, spray cleaner uh gardener cleansing water my contact solution everything else is pretty much i already have in my suitcase like i'm good on all this other stuff i've been had got this which i probably should have came and got this when i was up here the last time but i didn't think i need it till now <laughs> I didn't think I was actually going to freaking need it till now, so. Yeah. Okay, Drip. Let's get the hell up out of here. You got what you needed. You came in here, said what you got to get. You got it. Get the hell on up out of here now. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did not see a, like, um, thing. So, I'm going to just go to the Dollar Tree and see if they have one. I just don't want to buy, you know, brand new it, I really don't, y'all, but if I got to, I got to. Let's check out, and then let's go from there, and then, of course, give me something to eat, too. Not Target. Come on. They only got big bags. With little bags in now. That is crazy. That is crazy. Then, y'all, guess what? I end up bumping into my girl that used to do my nails. 
I just bumped into her because remember I told y'all she had ended up moving to Atlanta. But she back now. So she was like, she only doing travel. Um, and I'm like, girl. And then she was like, I fell up in this area. I was like, girl, you my baby. So that's so excuse. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I'm back here now. I'm back home. So I had to come back home. So loop. Got my nail tech back. Even if, you know, she be booked up, I still go, uh, you know what I'm saying? To my little nail shop. I like now Milano nails and stuff. But girl, yes. So, got my stuff. Did what I had to do. And that's that. Told y'all. Huh. You got to. You got to. Pay attention, Drew. I'll make sure y'all hear me. But yeah, you, you got to make sure you come here do what you got to do. Don't come in here again now and focus. Cause that's how you start spending un unnecessary, un extra money you don't need to spend. Yes, can I get your kids chicken strip meal? What did you Ketchup, and can you make sure it's fresh? What are you drinking to be with you? Can I do a Coke and light on ice? Um, fruit snack. That's it. Thank you. What a bag of old girl. And you gotta let these more. No, I want it fresh. I want my sh fresh, okay? I want it fresh, and on top of that, I want all that damn ice in my damn cup. And I'm barely getting my drink. Like my wallet, oh, it came in handy so well. Oh my gosh, my it came in handy. So, got this, love it. And it was only ten dollars at Burlington, a Steve Madden wallet. Mmm, pool. That's how you budget, okay? We feel like you gotta go pay all this money for Steve Madden. They said in Burlington. <laughs> That's why y'all love me. I just be up front and real with y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I just be me. I just be me, tell you the truth. Oh, they moving fresh. Yeah, they moving fast. But I told them I want my shit fresh. So, yeah, because they be. Mm -mm. Cause they be trying to give you the little last of the last at the bottom, like that burnt up. Um, Girl, I am not even close. This car is so sensitive. Like, when I tell you so freaking sensitive, so sensitive. Any little thing. Like, you get close. Any little thing. Fine, how are you? Fine, how are you? Okay. 7573, please. Thank you. Thank you. When I tell you, when you get to any little thing, it just it start making noises. My child. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Uh-huh, you have a good one. It's fresh, y'all. But yeah, it's like you get to any little thing, like I don't care. Drop this just start making noises, honey. Child. And then don't let you not have your seatbelt on. This baby go act a fool. Go make all the goddamn noise it is. Oh my lord Jesus, this is annoying. But yeah, they be trying to give you the little uh ends of the ends at the bottom, baby. I don't want that. I don't want the that burnt up last up chicken tenders that's been sitting there. Them shrimps, I mean, and I don't want them burnt up fast old fries that got all that salt on them. <laughs> make my shit fresh. I want stuff once you finish dipping it in, you put it in there. Like I want it fresh, honey. So I got that and we good. Home we go and chill for a little bit. Um, I do have to get on my computer and um, finish setting up my other little stuff that I have to set up for the new job. And once I finish with that, I'm gonna um, get comfortable and we gonna pack y'all.
we got a freaking pack it's been gloomy and looking real ugly like this all day because it's been raining it stopped raining but now it's just real cloudy looking it just uh oh my freaking gosh when i tell you over this weather out here in houston over it <laughs> over it child my god damn so you know who got my food let's head to the hot shower and i'll catch y'all down um, once it's time to start packing, really, y'all. Baby, home right before the rain started. Got it on tubi. Got it on my tubi, and I'm about to find me something. Oh, I've been hitting about 10 toes down for to wash 10 toes down, and then I got some other ones to wash just to get me through because, girl, I've been missing that on tubi because I've been so busy. I've been missing out on Tubi. So I'm supposed to watch this one, relax, and then once I'm done with my movie, get up out of these clothes and all that stuff, take me a little good bath. Well, I'm gonna take me a bath. I'm just gonna get these clothes and pack. No, rewind. I'm gonna take me a bath, relax, and then pack. So if I pick y'all up after this, I'm gonna pick y'all up when it's time for me to pack, okay? All right. Somebody tell me the answers Me and you isn't the answer Me and you isn't Maybe I'm telling myself that But there ain't nothing that'll change that What good would it be If I knew how you felt about me yeah. It could've been right but I was wrong Only think about you and I'm alone and part of me that cared is just gone And I know that I can't get caught up We could've been Try to pretend every now and again We don't dream about, don't think about what we could have been No, I'm holding again Cause I know in the end you dream about, I think about what we could have been We could have been We could have been Remember? Remember the night in Miami First time you put your arms around me I'm up, I'm in this Thinking about you isn't helping Thinking about you doesn't tell me What good it would do If I decide to face the truth It could have been right but I was wrong I only think about you when I'm wrong You only hit me up when she's not home And that's why I can't get caught up We could have been and we try to pretend And now and again We don't dream about, don't think about what I think about what we could have been, we could have been.